Fatty liver, as the name suggests, refers to the buildup of fat in our liver. What causes this fat buildup in the liver and how can this condition be managed or even reversed via diet, supplements and lifestyle are some of the questions that I'll be answering in today's video. If you are interested in finding out, please keep watching. Hi everyone, my name is Nirupama. I am a PhD in food science and a certified nutrition coach. Along with making YouTube videos, I also offer personal health consultations and you can get in touch with me by visiting the link in the description box. Liver is the largest organ in our body and it plays many important roles for our body. One of the very important roles that liver plays is blood filtration. It filters out the blood and breaks down all the harmful substances in it. Liver helps in the process of digestion by secreting bile into our intestine. The most important role that liver plays in our body is that of detoxification. Liver makes sure that anything that shouldn't be in the blood like harmful substances, chemicals, foreign objects, alcohol are safely broken down and removed from the blood. So, what causes the buildup of fat in a perfectly functioning liver? One of the reasons for fat buildup in the liver is excessive consumption of alcohol and this is known as the alcoholic fatty liver disease. The other type is the non-alcoholic fatty liver disease or NAFLD which is what we are going to focus on in today's video. Non-alcoholic fatty liver disease affects people even when there is little or no alcohol involved. So you might not be consuming alcohol at all but you still might get fatty liver disease. In fact in the last two decades the prevalence of non-alcoholic fatty liver disease has gone up and this has gone hand in hand with increase in cases of obesity, type 2 diabetes, high blood pressure, high triglycerides and high LDL cholesterol which means that fatty liver disease is strongly associated with developing metabolic syndrome. There are four stages of progression with the fatty liver disease which includes the stage 1 or simple fatty liver also known as steatosis. This can lead to stage 2 or steatohepatitis which can eventually lead to stage 3 or fibrosis and stage 4 or cirrhosis. And in the worst case scenario, it can ultimately progress to hepatocellular carcinoma. It may take years for fatty liver to progress from one stage to another, but the progression up until cirrhosis can also happen quickly if there is a genetic predisposition. The good news is that the progression in fatty liver disease can be managed and even reversed if you are in the early stages of the disease. In this video, I am going to share with you my top 5 tips for reversing, managing and even preventing fatty liver disease. Let's get started. Studies have established a direct correlation between overconsumption of fructose and developing fatty liver disease. Now fructose is a simple sugar which is naturally found in fruits but it is not the fructose in fruits that causes a problem. Fructose becomes a problem when it is consumed excessively either in the form of sucrose or what we know as the table sugar or in the form of HFCS or high fructose corn syrup which is being added excessively to all kinds of packaged and processed foods like breakfast cereals, desserts, baked goods, candies, flavoured yogurts, salad dressing, ketchup, biscuits, it's a long long list. Now the amount of fructose that we get from fruits is harmless because we consume smaller amounts of fruits and it is hard to overdose on fructose coming from fruits. However, the packaged and processed foods pack an excessive amount of fructose or high fructose corn syrup and these foods are also very addictive. So we do end up overeating these foods and therefore we end up overdosing on fructose. What ultimately happens is that the excess fructose induces a state of lipogenesis or fat storage in the liver which increases the risk and progression of fatty liver disease. obesity is a major major risk factor which can lead to development of fatty liver disease. There have numerous studies that have demonstrated an improvement in the key features of non-alcoholic fatty liver disease with progressive weight loss. 
In a study, obese individuals that could lose even 10% of their body weight have shown marked improvement in histological abnormalities of their liver biopsy and also a reduction in inflammatory damage caused to the liver due to NAFLD. So if you are someone who holds excessive body fat, you must take corrective measures to improve your diet and lifestyle, make sure that you are getting enough nutrition from real whole foods, incorporate strength training and exercise in your routine and work towards reducing your body fat percentage as a step to reversing your fatty liver disease. Vitamin E, also known as tocols, are well known for preventing the membrane damage that are caused due to oxidative stress or excessive free radicals in the body. Vitamin E has been found to play a promising role along with a good diet and exercise regime in managing the damage caused to the liver due to fatty liver disease. You could either go for a vitamin E supplement or you could make sure to include enough vitamin E rich foods in the diet which include foods like peanuts, sunflower seeds, almonds, avocado, spinach, pumpkin and broccoli. Like vitamin E, omega-3 fatty acids are also powerful and potent anti-inflammatory agents. They act by reducing oxidative stress in the body and they have been found to be very effective in reversing the oxidative damage caused to the liver during the initial stages of fatty liver disease. The three main omega-3 fatty acids are ALA, EPA and DHA. Now since our body cannot synthesize these omega-3 fatty acids, they will have to be caught externally from either supplementation or through a good diet. Some dietary sources of omega-3 fatty acids are fatty fish or nuts like walnuts and even seeds like flax seeds and chia seeds. With non-alcoholic fatty liver disease, supplementation with either vitamin E or omega-3 will only work when there is a good diet in place and therefore it is advisable to work towards fixing your diet before you consider adding supplements. And fixing your diet involves what you eat, when you eat and how much you eat. Your first job would be to eliminate all and every packaged and processed food items in your diet. Your diet should be a wholesome blend of carbohydrates coming from whole grains and millets, good quality proteins coming from legumes, nuts and seeds, eggs or fish, and diverse micronutrients and fiber coming from fruits and vegetables. I have another detailed video on specific food categories like cruciferous vegetables, leafy greens or garlic that have been shown to be very effective in supporting the health of our liver. I will leave the link for the video in the description box. In terms of when to eat, you should ideally try to stick to a 11 to 12 hour eating window and try and leave a gap of at least 12 to 13 hours between the last meal of the day and your first meal of the day. Your dinner should be as close to sunset as possible. How much to eat is determined by your appetite and your metabolism, but you must make sure that you are avoiding overeating foods through the day. Because overeating is the primary cause of fat deposition in the body and ultimately fat deposition in the organs of the body. So stick to eating smaller portions of food through the day and avoid overeating any one meal. So a quick recap of my top 5 tips for preventing, managing and even reversing fatty liver disease. Limit consumption of high fructose, packaged and processed foods. Work towards lowering your body weight and your body fat percentage. Consider supplementation with vitamin E and omega-3. And lastly, focus on what you eat, how much you eat and when you eat your meals. That's all from me for today's video. I hope you found this video useful. If you did, do let me know in the comments and do give me a big thumbs up. I will see you guys in my next video. Take care until then. Bye.